I made a video previously on the unofficial lineage OS and many people had questions and had doubts regarding the official variant of lineage OS and the unofficial variant so I made this video comparing both of these and what are the differences between the two and I will also show you some of the new features that have been added in the official variant. I have used the unofficial one for a week and after that I switched to the official one and I have been using this one for a week as well. This is the official one and it is the latest nightly I will quickly show you. So it is running 7.1.1 and it is the nightly that was released on 13th. So you guys may ask what is the basic difference between the official and the unofficial variant. So the main difference is that the official variant of Lineage OS has been created by the original developers of CyanogenMod or the developers who are currently working for Lineage OS right now. And the unofficial one is made by the developers at XDA and they have used the Lineage OS sources that are open source. So anyone can build upon that and they have built upon the Lineage OS and made it better and added some more features. That's why you guys were not able to get the features that I showed in the previous video because it was the unofficial variant. So now we have the basics cleared out, well, let's start with the video. So we'll start off by comparing the performance difference between the two ROMs. Both of the ROMs have decent performance and they perform better than the stock variant and also the previous Cyanogen mod variants. The unofficial variant is a little quicker in moving between the different applications. And, uh, and the animations also feel a bit quicker on the unofficial one. But at times it can be a bit choppy and you can feel the difference when you are switching between the two ROMs. The official one feels a bit more smoother but slower and it also feels a bit more polished. This all is in the day to day performance and moving between the different applications and using some small applications. But the differences are very minor and in heavy games and big applications I didn't notice any difference at all. So the next thing is the camera on these versions. It feels sad in saying that the camera on most of the custom ROMs on the Moto G4 Plus is not up to the mark and you can't compare that to the stock variant because the stock variant has optimizations done by Motorola in the camera application and the camera libraries that make the image processing a bit better and you have less noise and clearer photos on the stock camera. But that said, the differences in the camera between the unofficial variant and the official variant are none. I didn't notice any difference. You have all the options in the official one as well. And the camera app is also the same. So you won't notice any difference in the camera application. When comparing these two in the battery department, I feel that the official one has more battery backup. And maybe that's because the unofficial one is pushing the performance on the device a bit. And also talking about the battery, you also have these optimizations in the official variant. You can switch between the different profiles. Uh, you have the performance profile and the power saving profile. You get a bit more performance on the unofficial one and a bit more battery on the official one. It's a matter of choice which one you want to choose. But the difference is very minimal and you might not even notice it. When it comes to the interface and the features in the ROMs, it's quite obvious that the unofficial one has more features because it's been built upon Lineage OS and it has most of the options that are there in Lineage OS and some other options and features have been added. But in the official one, you get some features like the battery optimizations and you also get the recording app. Keeping that aside, the unofficial one has a lot more features and a lot more options in the settings menu. One difference between the two ROMs that surprised me is that the official one is not pre-rooted and you actually have to flash a zip file to root this. 99% of the custom ROMs are pre-rooted and you only have to go to the developer options and enable apps and ADB but you can flash a zip file and it would be okay. I don't know why they didn't add it here. The unofficial one is pre-rooted and you can enable root access in the developer options. But for the official one, you will have to flash a zip file. I will leave a link to that in the description box below if you need it. There are also some interface differences between the two. Unofficial one has the pixel nav bars and it also has the round icons, but they are not there in the official one. I will try to give a quick rundown of the features that are extra comparing it to the stock variant so you guys can get an idea of what you get. In the display section, you have the expanded desktop and the display size. In display size, you can change the DPI of your device. So it doesn't make the text smaller. It actually makes the whole display smaller. And you also have the font size. 
you have all these gestures provided by lineage os like the double twist for camera or the chop for torch you can also use uh, the wave feature to silence your phone when a call is coming and of course you can use the fingerprint as home button you can also customize long press and double tap actions on the home button or the fingerprint sensor if you want to and you have the partial screenshot in this one as well you have the privacy guard in this one as well and also the predicted apps you can also make changes to the status bar like the icons or the positioning of the icons or which icons show up you can also use it as a brightness bar the installation is same you have to install the rom and the google apps i've already shown it in the previous video so this was kind of a quick update because many people wanted it so that's it for the video let me know if you like this video or not and if you're new to the channel you can subscribe for more content like this